Hello my crafty friends, it's Trinae here and we are about to make a little project. We are going to use our little um, jelly bean set up and we have a lid over here. I'm thinking I'm going to color over the lid because it kind of gets lost. And then we have our little beans and then we have these uh, chickens and their paint bucket and um a paintbrush because it's, i'm gonna make it look like they are painting the jelly beans <laughs> i thought that'd be cute because i really do love this stamp set which is also a line fine stamp set it's called chirpity chirp chirp and we're just going to combine the stamp sets together and see what we end up with all right so i'm starting by selecting my paper from the Lawn fun let's poke in the meadow and y'all this is probably like one of my favorite um paper pads i love polka dots and stripes and it's just beautiful so i am choosing the paper that i'm going to use for my sky and for my grass and for the little bushes on my trees you guys have seen me do um a similar project where i let like the little decorative paper serve as my landscaping and that's all I am doing for this one. So after cutting down my papers to size, I use the different um, hillside borders and like the little landscape um, border dies to create my scene. I am using the green paper with the stitch hillside to create like a little grassy hill. And then you will see me come in with the little trees um, border. I can't remember the name of it. I'll make sure I post it in the description below, but y'all, I can't lie. Like I post, I buy so much um, lawn fun stuff. Or just craft supplies in general that these names just start running together <laughs> and when I'm doing my voiceovers I'm like should I just stop and you know go look for it but then I decide against it because it's like when when you stop doing a vo voiceover if I can get the words out if, when you stop doing a voiceover you kind of have to find your groove all over again <laughs> when you start back so I just don't but um I'll make sure I have the correct names for everything in the description below. Also, I'll have the links. Please, 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 if you just if you see these products, good gosh, y'all! If you see these products and you like them and you decide to buy them, please use my affiliate links. It is how I offset the um, the cost of crafting. <laughs> because other than that, this gets to be a very expensive hobby. So please use those links if you are going to buy it anyway use the links and help out a youtuber use the links and i eat <laughs> i'm just kidding but um all the money i make on my youtube channel goes right back into buying craft supplies and making videos for you guys so definitely check those out but that's not what this video is about so as you can see i die cut out that brown paper to make my trees and i just tucked it behind the little hillside border and the cool things about um, these um, Lun Fun dies is that they kind of make them to coordinate with each other. So it was really easy to match that tree border up with one of the hillside borders. And I want some dimension on my card. So I am going to use some foam tape. And I use the scotch roll. I get like the super wide kind because to me it's... Um, it's a little bit more cost friendly in the long run because you can cut it down instead of like getting a thin strip and not being able to cut it down and having to double up that's how I justify it anyway but I take the paper off both sides because when you take the paper off both sides it becomes more pliable and you can curve it to whatever paper you're using so whenever I need it to go along the curve I always take like the backing off so that I can get a nice clean look with my um, with my foam tape. 
So now that I have the phone tape on there, I'm just going to stick it onto the paper and then I am going to add those little green um, trees things. And y'all ain't gonna lie, I struggled with figuring out how I wanted to put these on just because they needed to go behind those super thin trees and what I should have done was just um, put some foam tape behind the little green things and this is actually what I end up doing. Um, I put some foam tape behind it and let that be the main way it's secured. Um, I did put a little bit of that liquid tape on there just so um, it can attach but it didn't, it didn't give it a nice hole or it didn't give what I thought would be a, a secure hole so I went with the phone tape y'all I am rambling like for real <laughs> I deeply apologize I must need to eat <laughs> it's so funny because when I when I'm hungry I ramble like crazy so yeah <laughs> so I just completely um, add like phone tape on the back of these little tree things and then I popped them onto my card panel. smiling faces to each little jelly bean it's a unnecessary step however I love the look of it <laughs> I honestly like giving inanimate objects human elements so this is like right up my alley but you guys know I'm like super cheesy so if this is not your style then this still is a really cool stamp set you can just skip the smiling faces but I think it's I think it gives it a little something it makes it very playful and I don't know I just think like the world can use a little bit of play <laughs> y'all know um, I, my inner child is just taking over <laughs> so, but now all I'm doing is making my little stamped out images into stickers and I love 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 this machine it's like a must-have with card making when you're using little pieces and you need to put um, a nice even coat of glue on the back grab yourself one of these if you use your um, coupon at like Hobby Lobby or Michaels you can probably get this one that I'm using for about six or seven dollars um, or even less it just depends on the sale or the pricing but it's totally worth it so I'm just attaching my jar to the image and then I'm going to sit my little beans over in here and then I'm going to add my bucket and my little chicken give her a paintbrush and add that jelly bean because he's getting a fresh coat of paint <laughs> and now I'm just going to add a little bit of color to my top I originally colored it a gray color and I'm just going to go right over that and the cool thing about it is that having that gray underneath is going to give it um, like a little bit of, of shadowing like even more so than you know when you just pull the water out to me it gives it a little bit of depth so it's one of those happy accidents that just kind of works out so I go with it and then um, after I get the color on the lid I am going to add it just like it's tilted off to the side and then I'm going to add my jelly bean label and after securing my panel to my card base I go ahead and stamp the sentiment on the inside and just add one more little jelly bean and that's it the card is finished. 